In one year, he travels over 180,000 miles, plays over 200 concerts, earning over $250,000. He is described as flamboyant, a paragon, a virtuoso, one of the greatest flute players in history. His name is Jean-Pierre Rompal. At a time when the flute is enjoying great popularity in jazz and rock, Rampal can claim credit for the resurgence of the flute in classical music, not only as a performer, but also as a creator of new works, transcribing pieces originally written for other instruments. Rampal may not be the only virtuoso flute player in the world, but his superstar status is unique. He has a magnetic stage presence coming from an enviable mix of technical proficiency and exuberant energy that springs from his love for music and joy of performing. He rivets the eye and soothes the ear with his particularly French sonorité, a warm, dark richness of sound that is expressly Rampal's. Recently, he was in New York to play a sold-out performance at Carnegie Hall and to conduct a master class at the 92nd Street Y. He talked with music critic and editor David Rosenthal. Other flutists play on platinum flutes, silver flutes. Why do you use gold ones? Uh, well, silver, silver is very good. It's very brilliant. Platinum, I don't speak about it. I don't like it. It's too heavy for me. It's really, really very heavy. And, um, and gold, you know, I feel it's very warm. Why do you always travel with two flutes? Because um, if I carry only one flute, I will, uh, I will be... Uh, in trouble, I'm sure, you know. Some pad will be not good, some uh, spring will be out, and you, you must have an, a second instrument. And it must be uh, the same, almost the same. They are never the same, you know, it cannot be the same. very often you're very um, active on stage you sort of weave around and move your head and move your flute and you look too very, much very... I know yeah <laughs> but I cannot help <laughs> what do you think about when you're up on the stage you're up on the concert platform playing the flute well most of the time you you are involved with the music you know you have to be involved in the music. sometimes you think to the people you see in front of you uh, you, you 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 are you it's necessary for you to be inspired by somebody. And you have always to catch somebody or in the front row, or two, three row. And, uh, not always a, uh, a beautiful girl. <laughs> not always? Not always. It's not necessary. You cannot be inspired by a lot of people. Have an ugly face can inspire you. You are attached by somebody, you know, somebody. It must be a connection, you know. Not only with all the public, with, but with some specific people. There's one question I want to ask about the Rampal myth. Rampal does not practice. True or false? Ah, uh, it's partly true. Uh, I don't practice enough. It's true, but I play. I play too much. You know. Uh, I will not say that. I heard that Sirking us uh, answer to somebody. Recently, I think he said that uh, after all, you know, you practice on the stage for some time, you know. I think sucking, I'm not sure, but I heard that. Do you ever and I like it. You know, it's you live on your capital a little. You know, I practice a lot when I was young, and uh, there is one moment you, always, you know, you cannot practice all, all your life, you know. But I practice when I need, you know. What happens now when you're playing a concert, a concerto concert? Yeah and you're working with a conductor who you don't really know, and he turns out to be, as you say, a bad conductor. Does that drive you crazy? How, how do no, you adapt? No, I just go, I'm waiting for the end of the concert. It's all. You cannot do uh, anything. You know, I'd, I didn't have uh, a lot of argument with, uh, with musicians and conductors. I don't like to have argument with people. I think that if you start to have argument when you play music, you know, music is the act of love, you know, it's, if you really, if you have an argument with somebody, it's better to leave, you know, and to, uh, to cancel the concert, and I never, I never do it. Uh, I was sometimes unhappy, you know, many times, you know. Are you the best? 
No, nobody is the best. It's impossible to be the best. You can be the best if you are a sportsman, but, uh, but uh, art cannot be measured. You cannot say uh, he is the best pianist, he is the best violinist in the world. It, uh, it is nonsense, you know. You can be the best selling record artist. Okay, they, I agree on the flute, but uh, doesn't prove that I am the best. Rampal's records are bestsellers. He has recorded hundreds of separate works and is distributed worldwide. The current Schwann catalog lists over 35 releases, and Rampal now has five Columbia and RCA albums on the classical top 40 charts. The bestseller is a collaboration with jazz pianist and composer Claude Bowling. A performance by Rampal and Bowling at the bottom line in 1976, an airplay of the album on a leading progressive rock station, helped attract a new audience for Rampal. But insomniacs in the mid-60s could often have listened to as much as four hours at a time of classical Rampal, played by DJ Bill Watson on WNCN. <laughs> 